problem number 25, we have this five foot woman that's walking towards a 20 foot tall street lamp. And she's walking at that street lamp at a rate of eight feet per second. Now, uh, since she's walking towards the street lamp, she's casting a shadow backwards. So her shadow is back here. And the question is, as she walks towards the street lamp, uh, at what rate is the length of her shadow decreasing? Because as you can see, as she gets closer and closer to the street lamp, her shadow would get shorter and shorter. So the first question that we should ask here uh, is what are the things that are really changing that we need to be concerned with in this problem? Certainly, the distance between the woman and the street lamp is changing, so I need to give that some sort of a variable. So maybe I'll call the distance between the woman and the street lamp I'll call that distance x. The other thing that's changing here is there is a distance between the woman and the tip of her shadow. And so if I draw that distance in, I can call that the distance y. OK, so we have several things going on here. We have a 20-foot street lamp, 5-foot woman, the distance between the woman and the street lamp is x. The distance between the tip of her shadow and the woman we call y. And now we need an equation that relates all of these things together. Okay. And what I can see here is if I look at this triangle, this little triangle that's formed by the shadow of the woman, and the big triangle that's formed by the tip of the shadow to the street lamp to the top and back, those are similar triangles. And similar triangles have some nice properties, like the ratios of their sides have to be equal. So I'll use that knowledge to help me here. So what that means is for this big triangle, this side divided by this side must be the same as this side divided by this side. So x plus y divided by 20 must be the same as y divided by 5. Okay, and I get this from uh, the similar triangles that are set up in this picture. Okay, so now let's uh, cross multiply this just to simplify this equation down a little bit and we see that we get, uh, if I multiply this side by 5, I get 5x plus 5y. And if I multiply this side by 20, I get 20y. So I just cross multiply that thing. And I get uh, this next line. Now I can subtract 5y from both sides. And I'm just left with a very simple equation that 5x is equal to 15y. And I could go even further and divide both sides by 5. If I do that, I just get that x is equal to 3y. Okay, so x is equal to 3y is my equation that relates x to y. In that case, I could take the derivative now of this equation with respect to time. If I do, this is what I get. The derivative of x is dx dt. On the other side, the derivative of 3y the 3 just hangs around, and the derivative of y is dy dt. All right, so we've got dx dt is equal to 3 dy dt. Well, what do I know here? I know how fast this woman is walking towards the streetlight. So a really important question is, is x as a value over time, is it getting bigger or is that value x getting smaller over time? So is this distance x shrinking over time or getting bigger? Since she's walking towards the streetlight, x is getting smaller. And so dx dt must be a negative number. It's making it smaller. So it's negative. OK, so dx dt is a negative number. 
What is that negative number? How much is it shrinking? At eight feet per second. So dx dt is negative eight. So negative eight is equal to three dy dt. And now we can just solve for dy dt and we get the dy over dt. In other words, the change in the length of the shadow over time is equal to negative eight over three and now we need to add on our units. Y is measured in feet, and T is measured in seconds. So the answer to this problem of how fast is the length of the woman's shadow decreasing? Well, it's decreasing at a rate of negative 8 thirds feet per second. Now, there's a second part of this problem, and the second part of this problem asks, how fast is the tip of the shadow moving towards the street light? Okay, that's a different question because now we don't care about the length of the shadow anymore, just the tip of the shadow in relation to the street light itself. So now that we have this answer, let's go back. I'm going to just clear all this out and we're going to rethink about this problem if we don't care about the length of the shadow anymore, we just care about the relationship between the tip of the shadow and the street light. Well, let's give that a variable then. The length from the tip of the shadow to the street light, I'm just going to call it z. And the other thing we care about is the distance again from the lady to the street light. So from her to the street light, I'll put it here. We'll call that x. Okay? So this is the distance x. This is the distance z. And we can set up these similar triangles again using x and z. What we know is that the big triangles ratio or in other words, z divided by 20 must be equal to this little triangle. Now what is this distance? We're not calling it y anymore. All we have is z and x. So this distance, it's not z, it's not x, but it's z minus x. So it's z minus x divided by the height of the little triangle, which is 5. So we've got big side over big side equals little side over little side. Okay, so this is our similar triangle setup. Now let's do a little work with that. I'll cross multiply this thing and I get that 5z is equal to 20z minus 20x. So that's just from cross multiplication. Now uh, do a little work with this thing. I'll subtract 5 z from both sides, I'll move this 20x to the other side, and I get that 20x is equal to 15z. Divide both sides by 5, and I get 4x equals 3z. That's about as simple as I can get this thing. So now I can take the derivative of both sides, and I get that 4 dx dt is equal to 3 dz dt. Okay, which of these two values do I know and which one do I care about? I'm trying to figure out how fast is the tip of the shadow moving towards the street light, right? The tip of the shadow moving towards the street light. That's the change in z. So I'm trying to figure out what's dz dt. To find dz dt, I need to know dx dt. Fortunately, I do know dx dt, it's negative 8. So I can plug that in and I get 4 times negative 8 is equal to 3 times dz dt. And coming right over here, that gives me negative 32 is equal to 3 dz dt. Divide both sides by 3 and I get that dz over dt is equal to negative 32 over 3. And if I want to put my units on, what do I measure z in? In this problem, it's in feet. 
and what do I measure T in? In this problem, it's in seconds. So the answer to this problem, how, what is the rate of change of the tip of the shadow in relationship to the base of this lamppost? Uh, that tip of the shadow is moving at negative 32 over 3 feet per second.